Everyone, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please stay tuned for Kaleidoscope. Good morning, Interboro High School. Today is Monday, November 5th, 2007. I'm Barry Harrison. Thank you for joining us. We now turn to take a look at the weather. Yo, this is the dummies with the birthdays. Psych! Birthdays for today are Sam Coates, Erica Deletta, and Teresa Hunt. Happy ya birthday! Good morning, everyone. This is Laura with today's headline. In Egypt yesterday, the face of King Tut was unmasked and revealed to the public for the first time since his death over 3,000 years ago. Now back to the news desk. Student Council has organized a school-wide canned food drive to help our friends at Lowe's and Fishes, which provide necessities to over 600 families in the Interboro and Ridley communities. It's a class competition in which the winning class will receive $100 for their treasury. Food can be brought into a homeroom. In addition to canned foods, package items such as cereal and pasta will do. And now over to sports. Good morning. I'm Alex alongside Mike with your Interboro Sports. The Dallas Cowboys beat the Eagles last night 38-17. The Eagles are now 3-5 as their season continues to be a disappointment. The Flyers take on the New York Rangers tonight at 7 as Simone Gagne returns to the lineup. The varsity ice hockey team plays Westchester Henderson tonight at Iceworks. The puck drops at 7-15. The football team beat Chichester on Friday 19-7. The JV team plays at Chichester today. That kickoff is at 3.30. Now over to the news desk. In our Daily Career Center report, the following college is visiting. Lynchburg College is here today at 1 o'clock. There is a new club for any students who have school spirit and energy but need an outlet to release it or just want to support their friends who are involved at school. Mr. Stabila will be advising this club. Its first meeting will be on Wednesday in Room 121. There is a mandatory high Q meeting for all members Wednesday at 2.30. Now, as you know, to this week is National French Week. We turn to the French club president who has a few words to say to you. Bonjour. Today, French teachers across the United States and their students start a week-long celebration for the contribution of French-speaking world to literature, art, music, civilization, fashion, cuisine, and many other areas. The purpose of this week is to highlight the many contributions of French explorers, artists, musicians, scientists, and philosophers to the world culture and civilizations. A French fact will be devoted to each day. For example, today is science, technology, and careers. Tuesday and Wednesday will be art and music, and dance will be on Thursday. French cuisine will be Friday. The weekend will be devoted to communities. Pay attention to the trivia questions and bring your answers immediately after homeroom to Mr. Bukasa's room at 2.30 to a, for a chance to win a prize. Bon fête. Bonjour. Today we celebrate French sciences and technology. Can you imagine a life without chocolate milk, cheese for pizzas, or ice cream? We certainly thank Monsieur Pasteur for the pasteurization process. It allows us to drink purified milk every day. Merci Monsieur Pasteur. Today's questions are, name two French scientists and their contributions to the world. What is the rank of French language among the 10 world's most influential languages? Good morning, this is Lizzie with the menu. Today we'll have a meatball sandwich, seasoned green beans, pear slices, and a half pint of 1% milk. Now over to the vocab word. Good morning, Inner Bro. This is Andy with the vocab word. Today's word is nomadic, meaning wandering from place to place. For example, many of the kids in the school tend to be nomadic when they're bored. Can you kids go away? Now over to the quote of the day. Good morning, this is Monica with the quote of the day. Today's quote is, all we need to make us really happy is something to be enthusiastic about, by Charles Kingsley. Now we're the same history. Let's go Bucks! Yo and Barra, this is Mike and Rob with this day in history. On this day in 1993, Queen released her first studio album since the death of Freddie Mercury. Mercury died November 24th, 1991 of AIDS. 
And on this day, in 1998, Liam Gallagher of Oasis was arrested for allegedly attacking a photographer and damaging his uh, camera equipment. On this day in 1999, Dennis Rodman of the NBA and Carmen Electra were both arrested and charged with domestic violence in a hotel in Miami, Florida. Now over to trivia with Mike. He's not breathing. He's having a heart attack. Oh. What's up, Ben Navarro? This is Mike Owen, your pointless trivia of the day. Did you know that most heart attacks happen in the morning when medical, mental and physical stress is at their peak? Now over to Doug with the entertainment. Hey guys, this is Doug with the entertainment. Video game releases for today are Call of Duty 4 on the Xbox 360, King of Fighters 6 on the PS2, and the B-Movie game on the Wii. Back to Big Barry at the news desk. Thank you for watching Kaleidoscope, everybody. I'm Barry Harris. Why did the cow cross the road? I don't know. My Hollywood writers are on strike. What do you expect? I don't know more la patrie Le jour de gloire est arrivé Contre nous de la tyrannie Les tonnages sanglants élevés Les tonnages sanglants élevés Entendez-vous dans nos campagnes, fugir fait 